Hello, friend. Welcome to Android Charts, written in Kotlin. So, in this video, let's polish our Kotlin code further. Okay. So, what we want to handle here is those question marks. It's everywhere. Like following this canvas thing, right? Yeah. So many question marks. But we cannot remove it simply directly like that. For example, if we um, remove one of them here, we break the code here, right? The compiler, Kotlin compiler complains about that. There's a simple trick to get rid of this annoying, these annoying question marks. So coming from the iOS world using Swift, it's natural to ask to ask this question: What is the God let equivalent on Kotlin? Yes. Uh, okay, so we don't need to print out this one. So delete that. Right. So this is not the best, like most beautiful code here. What we can do is. Canvas, right? Question mark, like return. So if it's if it's now, it will return. Otherwise, we don't need that. Check. That's so cool. So here. After this line, it won't be now. It's not now. Of course, we don't have it. Right? So now we can fix that. So now this guy is not now. We can remove the question mark here, and it compiles. Right? Let's try it again. Yes. So this is like if it's now, we just return. Otherwise, we can use it as a now now because it's now now. Okay. And uh, did it that? And the question mark, of course, we don't need. Um, yeah. So there's no need for this one. Bye bye, question mark here. Yes. What about. Yeah, this one same, right? Here. And uh, wow, it's much, much cleaner. Yeah. So stop it and run again. Nice. So the notable check, right, happens in one place here. So what is this one? Okay. Yeah. This is so elegant. Let's make a commit. Okay. Refactored, refactored out. Um, a lot. Question mark. Um, a lot. Unless it 
necessary question mark right um, cost by using notable canvas cool thank you for watching see you next time